Hello, my Buckeye Nation out there. We all know what's coming up. Saturday afternoon, rivalry weekend, and yes, that's right, none other than the Ohio State Buckeyes taking on the Michigan Wolverines. Now, we all know right now Michigan holds the all-time series record, 58 wins, 51 losses, and six ties. But in the last eight seasons, that's right, from 2012 to 2019, the Buckeyes have owned the Wolverines, to say the least. Now, for me, my friends, it can't get any better than this. Number two Buckeyes coming in, ranked number two, 10-1 and one on the season, a perfect 8-0 and oh in the Big Ten, taking on number six ranked Michigan, 10 and 1 on the season and 7 and 1 in the Big 10. Wolverines only loss was to Michigan State Spartans. Now for me, let's start off first with the Buckeyes. Buckeyes are leading the nation in scoring average. This powerful potent offense that we have averaging 47 points a game. Amazing, my friends. They are led by signal caller C.J. Stroud. Listen to these stats. 3,468 yards passing. Has completed 71% of his passes. 36 touchdowns and only 5 interceptions in 11 games. Phenomenal job by C.J. Redshirt freshman. I know a lot of us had a lot of doubts in the beginning of the year in 2021 about CJ, but I'm going to tell you right now, CJ has lived up to everything that a young man can live up to and actually has performed past his peak. Let's start with the running game. True freshman, Trevion Henderson, what more can you say? 150 carries for 1,098 yards, Comes out to 7.3 average per carry, 14 touchdowns for this true freshman. What a job he has done between the passing of CJ and the strong running game of Trevion Henderson. Let's go to the receiving court. Jackson Smith Najiba leading the Buckeyes with 69 receptions for over 1,132 yards and six touchdowns. Behind him, what more can you say? Garrett Wilson. 60 grabs, 939 yards receiving, and 11 touchdowns, and none other than Chris Olave. 58 grabs, 848 yards receiving, and he leads the team with 13 touchdown catches. My friends, I have always said from beginning of this college football season that we have the three best receiving core in all of college football, hands down. Let's look at the defense. Now, I know, again, I just got done saying the Buckeyes offense, very potent, uh, scoring 47 a game. Their defense has really come on strong. I really have to give the defense credit. Defense is giving up only 19 points a game. They are led by Ronnie Hickman, the leading tackler for the Buckeyes, with 83 tackles. And Hickman also leads the secondary with two interceptions. So, you know, when you mention that, you know, this is a strong team. And on defense, we have 36 career team sacks so far in the 2021 football season. Now, the Buckeyes ratio to turnover ratio, the Buckeyes are plus nine in the turnover ratio. So when you are plus nine, you better expect a team to either be undefeated or like the Buckeyes have only dropped one. Phenomenal job by the Buckeyes. Moving on now to the Michigan Wolverines, again, coming in at 10 and one, like I said, this is a team that, coached by Jim Harbaugh, yes, he's done a good job so far for Michigan. I will give him credit. Michigan averages 37 points a game, 10 points less than the Buckeyes, but Michigan's defense has been very stingy, only giving up 
16 points a game. My friends, here's what it comes down to. C.J. Stroud averages 372 yards in the air passing, and the Buckeyes running game averages 197 yards on the ground. This is a team that averages right around 570 yards of total offense. Can Michigan stop this potent offense? I'm going to say no, they cannot. Now, we all know when Michigan faced some tough opponents like Michigan State, we all know what Kenneth Walker did to Michigan. He ran all over the Wolverines, to say the least. And Michigan State beat the Wolverines in that comeback classic fashion game. So again, for me, my friends, we are talking about the Buckeyes' potent offense, averaging 47 a game, versus the Wolverines' stingy defense, giving up only 16 a game. I truly do not think the Wolverines are going to be able to stop not only C.J. Stroud, but Trevion Henderson, Mayan Williams, and don't think for a minute that Ryan Day, as smart of a coach he is, will try to get Master Teague, the very big back, and once Master Teague hits a secondary, color him gone because he's so quick, that he might not try to get Master Teague in for a few plays. So again, my friends, I'm, I'm wiping throwing the points out. I know the Buckeyes are, are favored in this game, but... Throw the points away. This is so important for both teams. The Buckeyes win this game. They are automatically playing for the Big Ten Championship. And that's what I'm just going to focus on right now. Very important game for both squads. But like I said, Buckeyes coming in at 2, ranked number 2 at 10-1. and one. Wolverines coming in, ranked number 6 at 10-1. and one. Typical battle here, but I do see the Buckeyes taking down the Wolverines in the big house, because we all remember last year, Harbaugh refused to travel to the shoe to take on the Buckeyes in 2020, you know, that great 2020 year. But guess what? Don't think for a minute Ryan Day realized that Harbaugh refused to take his team into the shoe last season. I think it's going to be a lot of payback and... This is going to be very sweet payback doing it in the big house. So, my friends, yes, my prediction, Buckeyes will win this game, hands down. If you like this video, please to all click on the like button. If you are new to my channel, it's free to do so. Just click the subscribe button right up up my face up here. And like always, I want to hear your opinion. Please comment down below. Like always, peace out. God bless. Don't live in fear. Go Buckeyes.